everybody! Welcome back to Opercat playing The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. So in this episode, we're going to be doing some rather interesting sailing around, depending on what you find interesting. Um, basically, we're going to be doing the long trading sequence involving Zunari and a bunch of Goron merchants on the Great Sea, but also we're going to be watering all of the trees all on the Great Sea that are uh, necessary to, uh, you know, make sure the Great Tree the Great Tika Tree can spread his seed all over the land and create new forests. But to start off with, we're going to be doing the, the trading sequence. We got a town flower from Zunari quite a while ago. We can plant them in these things. Yay, that's lovely. But we kind of want to keep this. Remove this from the pedestal and place it in your delivery bag? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. So why don't we uh, see what he wants. Say, I've heard that there is a wandering merchant on Bomb Island, a quaint little landmass near the Forest Haven. If there is such a fellow, perhaps you can trade something with him. If you did, it might convince him to send his products to be sold in my shop. The more you are able to trade, the wider my product assortment becomes, and wider is better. Oh my dear, yes. Really? I've heard most men say they, they think that tighter is better. You know what? Never mind. Anyway, let's go to Bomb Island to start with. Basically, there's three merchants on the Great Sea. They're at Bomb Island, Greyfish Isle, and the child of the Mother and Child Isles. But you have to sail to the island. You can't warp directly there, so that's the unfortunate part. But anyway, let's uh, do what he said and sail on over to Bomb Island to start with. Okay, well, I'm here in Bam Island. I know I've talked to at least one of the merchants. I don't remember which one it was. It might have been the one at the Child Isle. I don't know if I talked to this one, so we might be introduced right here. I am but a poor traveling merchant. I roam the sea collecting rare goods in the hopes of someday opening up my own shop. If you have anything in that delivery bag of yours, that would be perfect for selling in a shop. Could you be- could you show it to me, please? Uh, sure. Hello. Mr. Not Goron, sir, with a shirt that is too tight for you because I can see your belly through the buttons. Huh? Why, that's a town flower, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for the sea flower? Oh, that's interesting. Sure, sounds good. Satisfactory. Then my fee will be... For this, I guess 20 rupees will do. Sure, it's a deal. Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you I'll give you your item. As promised, hold it hold it out with both your why am I having trouble reading today? I don't know why. I don't think I'm dyslexic, but sometimes I just can't say things that are written out in front of me. You got a sea flower. The scent of the scent wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far off land. If you find a place to put it, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and blah. Oh, spinning camera, cool. So, by trading your goods for my goods, we have formed a merchant's oath. So, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How, you ask? Why, my good friend the postman will take it there for me, so it will probably get there before you do. Just go back to Windfall and check for yourself. Thanks again. Cool, man. So I guess I could go back to Windfall and see that he, Zunari, is now in fact selling the sea flower, but we should keep trading things. So why don't we uh, move on to the next island, which I believe is Great Fish Isle. So let's go. And now I am at Great Fish Isle. There's a thing over here. It's weird being here in the daytime if you haven't been here in the daytime yet. Anyway, here's another one. Hello. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manners of rare items. Cracked and pristine. Wild and woolly. I came from a distant land because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island. But I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with the most mystic of rare items. The fabled Shop Guru statue. But it seems as though I am off the mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me the sneaking suspicion that it might have some rare treasure hidden in its depths. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all. 
This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you've got, and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Okay, what about this thing? Why is Plu's foot going through the boards? Huh? That's... a sea flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading this for the exotic flower? That is quite exotic, yes. I would like that. Most worthy that my fee will be. Ooh, I'll give you a huge deal on this. 25 rupees will do just fine. Sure. Thanks. That settles things. I'll give you your item as I promised. Hold out both hands. Yay, you got an exotic flower. It's a refreshing flower that blossoms in the tropical regions to the south. If you find a place to put it, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set the flower to Y, X, or R. And now we're saying this again. More spinning cameras. That's great. He says exactly the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. How about if we actually go see the, um... Basically, there are only slots for pretty much three things. Oh, I can't do that because I need to be in the boat. It's mixed Scottish boat face. Let's go back to Windfall. Okay, so I'm back on Windfall and look, he's got a full store seemingly. Yes, yes, young master, look! Already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It's a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession, next to my hoodie coat, of course. It is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. Yay, you got the magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from an enemy or other hazard. Set it to use and blah, whatever. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown. Well, excluding my lovely sail you purchased from me earlier, of course. It is a magical heirloom, one that calls up a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it even when you are sailing the open seas, my dear. Please, use this to protect yourself as you see it, seek out more merchants. I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with, if you find any. So, do you want me to buy some stuff? So I can buy stuff if I wanted to, but I don't really want to because uh, I still have stuff to do. Didn't you uh, have something else for me to say over here? Yes, yes, yes. A shipment has indeed arrived. A shipment of my new products. Thanks to you signing agreements with, with merchants for me, my product line has increased dramatically. Dear me, yes. So it's tripled, because now you have three products. Whatever. Please, 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 keep it up. You're my... You're my... You're such a hard worker. Alright. So it doesn't tell me where to go next, but there is, in fact, much more I could do to fill up the stall even more. So uh, why don't I go over to the next island? I'm pretty much going to speed it up and pretty much just show, like, what island I went to and what I'm getting out of it. So uh, let's go. So now I'm over at the child of the mother and child isles, and if I trade with him the exotic flower, I will get a pinwheel. Yes, I will take that. For 55. Cool, thanks. Let's move on. You got a pinwheel. The wheel on it spins when it catches puffs of air. It's kind of fun. If I go back to Bomb Island and trade the pinwheel, I will get the Sickle Moon Flag. It's my fill would be fodder, whatever, it's fine. Settles things, cool. Let's keep going. You got the Sickle Moon Flag. This flag is of a bright red crescent moon. It's quite fancy. Cool, thank you. So, back to Mother and Child Isles, if I trade the Sickle Moon flag, I will get the Big Catch flag. Yes, I would like that. For 85 rupees. Sure, whatever, it's fine. 
You got the pig catch flag. This flag was made by a fisherman from a foreign land and designed to encourage a big haul of fish. Cool, thank you. And then back to Bomb Island, trade the big catch flag for the fountain idol. Yes, I would like that very much. For 65 rupees, I don't care, I have the money. You got a fountain idol. This is a strange statue of a girl carrying water. Cool, let's move on. And then going back to Great Fish to trade the fountain idol for the skull tower. Yes, give it to me. Give it to me! You got a stole t skull tower idol. It is made of the fossilized skulls of strange creatures. It's pretty weird. And then back to Mother and Child Alice to trade the skull tower idol for the big sail flag instead of big catch flag. Big sail. Remember it's different. It is very different in fact. Here you go. You got the big sail flag. This flag lo looks like it would definitely be good for business. Thank you. And going back to Bomb Island to trade the big sail flag for the hero's flag. Gimme. Yes, thank you. You got the hero's flag. This flag has a rather courageous feel to it. Thank you. So then back to Great Fish Isle to trade the hero's flag for the postman idol. 100 rupees. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Why is it so much? You got a postman statue. This is a carving of the Rito postman, hero of all Ritos, and a symbol of laborers the world over. Cool. So then go back to the mother and child Isle to trade the postman idol for the shop guru statue. Sure. Yeah, I would like that very much. 200 rupees. Oh my god, that's so much money. You got a Chef Guru statue. Yay. And we are back to Great Fish Isle because this is the last portion of the uh, trading sequence. We were looking for a Shop Guru statue because we did talk to him. <gasps> is, is that... It, it couldn't be. The Shop Guru statue. Such a divine figure. Surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns at the peak of the business world. Oh, most worthy day. Wow, my lifelong dream has at long last come true. Such joy. This is my thanks to you for filling my dream. It's a heart-filled reward, brimming with gratitude. All right, hold out your hands. Yay, you got a piece of heart. You collected a total of two. My, but I have received a worthy item. Tonight, I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep. I can't wait. Not very often you see the word bosom uh, laid out in text like that, but since we ca finally completed the uh, trading sequence, why don't we go back to Windfall to see what's up with that? What's up with that? Who we? I haven't watched SNL in like forever, so I don't know. <gasps> so we are back at the shop guru's place. Look how much he's expanded, isn't that fantastic? Oh my god. It goes all the way along the wall. Whoa, what does this sign say? I never noticed this. Can I read it? Can I not read the sign? It's like on the wall. Well, whatever, fine. Um, what does he say? I suppose I can buy all this individual stuff. Yes, yes, yes. It is another fine day, is it not? That days like this are the best spent shopping. So I can buy all this other crap if I wanted to, but I don't really see the need for it. I suppose I can buy one of these. My dear, thank you so very much. You're welcome. I'll put it right over here. Here you go. If I can uh, find it in the back, that'd be good. Yay, fancy! Oh, it spins! Cool. So, yeah, I can buy all the stuff that I, uh, traded for him if I wanted to. I could decorate the town, but I don't even know if I'm gonna come back here again. But I probably will talk to him one more time. 
Yes, 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 my fine sir. You seem to be in quite good spirits, and why not? Thanks to you, my shop has become quite fine. Quite fine indeed. Dear me, yes. Is that all you have to say? Not even- Oh my god, thank you so for so many products. I'm gonna be super rich because of you, kid. Here is a sampling of that. Anyway, um, now I guess the next thing to do is to fly over to the forest haven and uh, grab a bottle of spring water. I might have to empty one of my bottles because I have uh, two bottles of this stuff and grandma's thing, so I'll probably empty this out, actually. Thank you, fairy, for all of your fairy juices. Also, I just noticed these uh, two over here. Hello. I'm so happy. And you, Linda, you're so swell. Thanks to you, Anton and I have grown so close to one another. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you say anything different? Anyway, yep. Okay, let's go to Forest Haven. Yep. Alright, so now I'm at the Forest Haven. I'm about to talk to the Deku Tree. Be like, hey man, what's up? Lifting the leaf up. How are things in the world, Ploof? As you can see, I am slowly growing older and feebler. It seems only my wisdom is full of vigor lately. But that is just the way of life, child, and not cause for sadness. If there is anything you wish to know, just ask. I will aid you as I may. What is it you wish to know? About the forest water. That would be good to know. The forest water? So you have learned the secret of our forest haven. The forest water is a mystical and powerful draught that fills the trees with life and vitality. With such water, it would even be possible to return life to a battered, withered tree. And yet, the forest water is quickly spoiled by the air outside the forest haven. Once it leaves the borders of these woods, it will lose its potency after just 30 minutes and become no different from ordinary water. I suppose it is thanks to such water that this gnarled old tree had been able to live for so many long years. If you see the Koroks in trouble out there, I hope you can aid them while the forest water remains potent. I shall mark their locations on your sea chart. Uh, that would be good to know, but it's not marked yet, probably because I need, I need to actually grab a bottle of this stuff. No? Maybe I need to be in deeper water? There we go. And look, it's sparkling! You filled your bottle with forest water. You can use it multiple times, but it loses its forest freshness after just 30 minutes. After that, it becomes normal water. Yeah, so now we can see the map of where all of them are. So it appears as though the closest one is probably going to be over here or over here. So I think I'll just show the map here and I'll just cut to being at those locations so you don't have to see me sailing around all the time. But you see there's a timer on there. It, I don't think it's going to count down until after I exit the place, though. I believe it was 20 minutes in the original GameCube version, but now it's 30 minutes, so that's helpful. Yeah, it's counting down now, so I'm just going to cut to the next location. So here's the first one. Jesse's a forest haven. Hi, I had to go through the whole underground thing again, but let's uh, water the tree. That'll make it nice and happy. It erected itself. Hi. Thank you very much, swordsman. You must find seven more of my fellow Koroks. If you pour that forest water on all of our trees, then the wall trees will surely grow strong again. But remember, in just 2801, the forest water we have will turn into plain water, so hurry up and look for my fellow Koroks. Sure. Sounds good. And now we are at the next one, at Ploof's Oasis. So let's water the tree. So you're gonna say the same thing? Thank you very much, Swordsman. You must find six more. Yep. Yeah, it looks just about the same. Alright, let's just keep going. So now I'm at the next Korok at Eastern Fairy Island. Here you go. Enjoy that water. I assume he's just gonna say the same thing, so I'm just gonna keep moving on anyway. And now we're at the next one, at Shark Island. Hello, you look sad. There you go, now you're a happy tree. 
And then over on Great Fish Isle, going up the spiral staircase thingy, whatever, there is yet another one. You also look super sad. Particularly at nighttime, that's weird. Here you go. Now you're a happy tree. And then the next one is at Needle Rock Isle. Hello. You also look rather sad. And now you will be happy tree again. Bad brass, you will pick the happy little tree right over here. And then the next one is at Mother and Child Isles. Once again, got a sail to it, can't warp directly there. You see, I have like 21 in game minutes left. That's still quite a lot, and I only have one tree left after this. Thank you very much. You must find one more of my fellow Koroks. Yay! So at the last location on Star Island, you'll notice that all the other Koroks are now happy green leaves. Let's talk to this one, though, before we water it. I will do what I can here to make sure this forest tree does not wither any further. Please, swordsman, go to the forest haven and bring back some of the forest water. Can you please help me? Sure. 20 minutes in-game left. Even though I managed to do it in less than, um, 19 real-world minutes. So, uh, that's how long I've been sailing around. Oh my god, it's a big tree now. Woo! And, and has a mustache and a nose and everything. Oh my god, peace of heart. Awesome. Yay! Hi, you, man. Swordsman, come see how healthy my forest tree has become. Wow, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Yay. Yes, it has like a nose and a f you know eyes and a mouth and everything. It's like a Dikachu clone or something. Anyway, I got a piece of heart for doing that. I collected three. I need to find one more. I think the last one is going to be on Outset, which I still need to go to anyway. And I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to get either four more pieces of heart or just the last heart container. But I guess I can just go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time when I am going to go to Outset Island, and I will get the last piece of the Triforce over there. It's probably going to take a while. Um, there might be also another piece of heart over there as well. Let's see what happens when I put this on. I suppose I can show that off next time as well. So uh, thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time.